New commissioner rumors. Reports point to a possibility, but the mayor's office says no final decision is made. Hello, everybody. I'm Mary Bubala. And I'm Rick Ritter. Those rumors surround the police chief of Fort Worth, Texas, and started when the mayor there announced Chief Joel Fitzgerald was offered the job as Baltimore's top cop. WJZ is live. George Solis with what Baltimore's mayor just said moments ago. George? That's right, Guy. The mayor only taking one question about Fitzgerald, never even actually addressing whether or not he was a finalist for the job. And again, standing firm that a final decision would be made at the end of the month. Here's more on what she just had to say. I'm not revealing names of where we are in terms of the finalists. I promised early on that we would make a decision by the end of October. A decision will be made by the end of October. We are vetting candidates. Uh, I am excited about where we are. Um, but, you know, we have police chiefs from around the country that are interviewing, and we want to keep it, you know, and there is a process. And what I've asked is that the final candidates come to me before I discuss who those uh, final folks are. I'll have a discussion with the city council. That is the first process of how we move this forward. And, guys, we're told from our media partner, the Baltimore Sun, that all of this started because of a tweet that went out and of course that created all of this rumor across state lines. Here's what we know about Fitzgerald. He was born in Philadelphia where he was a longtime police officer there. He then went on to serve as police chief in Missouri City, Texas and then Allentown, Pennsylvania. He's been the chief of Fort Worth Police since 2015 and he has gone some controversy during his tenure there. We know there were some issues over a leak of body camera footage and questions about morale under his lead. Now Councilman Brandon Scott did speak with WJ earlier about this again arguing about the city's role in all of this saying he wants to see a police commission form so things like this do not happen I guess the, the big lesson from today for folks who have not been paying attention to what the city council has been saying for years is that this is another reason that shows that the structure for which the police department operates is broken and needs to change because uh, the council myself I've asked multiple occasions to know who people that applied for the positions being considered and never heard anything back and they don't have to do that. And of course, you just did hear from the mayor that she says she does plan on addressing the city council before a final decision is made. And of course, all of this happening while there is a surge in violence in the city and a department that continues to face heavy scrutiny. That's the very latest. We're live outside City Hall. George Solis reporting for WJZ.